zero to 13. Um, this has been more work than I'd like to admit. And uh, I'd like to share with everyone things that we've learned from this, uh, that, you, that we're making changes uh, to how we're running our uh, Terraform modules uh, and things that you guys might benefit from. So the biggest uh, problem that we've experienced uh, upgrading to 0 0.13 was when we upgraded, well, let's take a step back. So 0 0.11 to 0 0.12, that was a big deal. I mean, Terraform uh, entered the leagues of almost being a bona fide language and um, the, the HCL2 was not backwards compatible with HCL1 and it was a pain in the butt. The other thing though is that Cloud Posse had no integration tests on all our 0 0.11 compatible modules. Uh, our criteria for migrating a module to 0 0.12 to HCL2 was that we had to have Terra tests. And that's good. That meant that all of our modules had working complete examples, complete being a relative term, uh, but it's something that allowed us at least to instantiate and tear down that module. So that's good. But what happens with this are a few problems and uh, this is what the price we paid. So I think the easiest thing is just to go in and show you uh, what we're doing uh, to upgrade our modules uh, to 0 0.13 uh, compatibility. So like if we look at the RDS module, one of the things we did was uh, update the versions here. So uh, this is an example of our first approach for uh, updated version pinning to support uh, 0 0.13 and 0 0.12. But this is also the the root of all of our problems and challenges is that for the Terraform core version, we are pinning the upper bound on that. And this is a real problem when we are trying to go from, a, a, from two minor releases in Terraform from 0 0.12 to 0 0.13, 0 0.13 to 0 0.14 in the, you know, in, in the 12 month time frame here. So uh, what we're actually doing now is uh, change, doing an about face on that. And an example would be, I think if I look at the code pipeline module here, is for the core version, we are going to now uh, only do a lower bound pinning on the core version. Uh, and this is gonna allow us more easily to mass upgrade all of our modules and run tests, uh, assuming there's not gonna be HCL3. Uh, I don't yet say, proclaim this is a solution that's gonna work for every possible scenario, but it would have definitely saved us a lot of pain here. So the good thing is that we're pinning everywhere. The bad thing is our pinning was so strict that with our examples, so if I go into our examples here, this, uh, what, we were not able to run our tests and stuff because like in order to run the code pipeline, I need to have a VPC and the VPC had pinning to 0 0.12. And then uh, the subnets uh, needed to uh, uh, work also with uh, 0 0.13, so that we had to upgrade that module. The problem is all of our tests for the subnet module depend on creating a VPC first. So we had all of these cycles everywhere uh, that just made the, this pinning uh, situation a nightmare. Um, we have uh, gone through, and if you look at the uh, pull request history for uh, all of our modules, it's gonna look something like this. Multiple passes across all of our modules in bulk automated uh, with much help from Matt Gowie and Pepe and a few other, of our other core contributors uh, from the open source community. Uh, so we applied those and we've just systematically gone through and updated these things. So. What we learned is there are a lot of cycles uh, in, in our ecosystem of modules uh, due, due to pinning. 